Liko's Chromatoff tile can streamline data analysis and quickly find differences between GCGC -GC samples. Here we are highlighting an application project where we used Chromatoff tile to compare two water samples, one that had an off odor and a control sample that didn't. We analyzed both of these samples by GCGC -GC with the Pegasus BTX. Our goal here was to look for analytes that might be related to this off odor. Chromatoff tile can simplify this task by rapidly comparing the raw data to find the retention windows where there are differences between the samples. All of the masses are compared, so even features that are not obvious in the TIC can be uncovered. For this project, we use the fold change option in Chromatoff tile. This can be done with only two samples, so it works well for these types of direct comparisons. After processing, analyte information is compiled in the chemical feature table. Here we have a focus list of some of the analytes that were higher in the off odor sample. In the table across the bottom, we have the analyte details, names with similarity score, retention index information, and other identification details. We've also added aroma descriptors to our user field columns, and we have the intensity information for both samples in the last two columns. These can be set to show the values, the heat map, or both. In the top left corner, we have the observed spectral information and the library match. In the top right section, we can view the contour plots of the samples and also see the relative trends in the area bars. Our filter list is showing some of the analytes that are higher in the off odor sample with aroma notes. We can see some interesting information here. Many of the analytes are aldehydes and we're seeing aroma descriptors like green, citrusy, fruity, sweaty, and so on. Tile helped us focus on the regions of the chromatogram with differences so that we could quickly get to these off-odor candidates. This is done with a chromatographic tiling approach, where grids of retention windows are used to connect the samples and then compare them. We create a data processing method with the Chromatoff tile software. Then select the samples that we want to compare from our Chromatoff database. With the fold change test, we have the option to compare just two samples, and defining sample classes is optional. We can select this option from the drop-down menus in the method. These comparison options help provide more flexibility and cover more experimental designs and comparison objectives. The other data processing parameters are used to set the tile size and various other thresholds. The library search parameters and retention index landmarks can also be entered before clicking begin to start the data processing. After processing, the software points us to these locations in the chromatogram that meet all of the thresholds. This information is compiled for review here in the hit location window. In the top corner, we see the tile hits. These are the chromatographic locations where there are differences. We can sort this table by heat map, like we are showing here, to focus on locations that are higher in the off odor sample. In the bottom corner, we see the masses that differ for each of these chromatographic windows. And on the right side, we see the contour plot for each of our samples. The control is on top and the off odor is on the bottom. This view is showing the selected window from the top panel and the selected mass from the bottom panel. We can review and interact with the data from here, and we can also curate features to add to the chemical feature table. Chromatoff tile is an efficient way to focus data analysis so that you can quickly find this type of important information about the samples. In this example, we were looking at an off-odor sample compared to a control, but this tool can be applied for many types of samples and experiments with differentiation analysis goals.